If you live in the UK, you've probably noticed your local supermarket shelves look like this. Over the past few days, shops in the country have been facing shortages of tomatoes and other vegetables, to the point where Asda, Britain's third largest supermarket chain, even introduced a temporary three-pack limit on tomatoes, while another called Morrison's said it would impose a cap of two items per person. And many social media users in the UK have taken to Twitter to slam the lack of fresh tomatoes. But others have blamed Brexit for the shortages. For example, uh, this user said this is a direct and practical result of Brexit. So why is there a tomato shortage right now in the UK? Well, the Cube has looked closer at what's really going on. First of all, supermarkets have blamed poor weather in Morocco and Spain, the main suppliers of tomatoes for the disruption. And according to the UK embassy, 25% of tomatoes eaten in the UK come from Morocco. And it's true that both Morocco and Spain have experienced unusually cold temperatures over the past few weeks. The director of the British Retail Consortium told us via email, difficult weather conditions in the south of Europe and northern Africa have disrupted harvest for some fruit and vegetables vegetables, including tomatoes and peppers. But Morocco and Spain also supply other EU countries, and many uh, users on social media have posted pictures of fully stacked shelves, like, for example, here in France. So what's the reason behind this? Well, we asked the question to Chris White, director of FruitNet. It's easier, frankly speaking, and less costly for a, a supplier to supply uh, let's say the Netherlands and 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 other countries in Northern Europe, Germany and so on, because they don't have these 25 miles of the English Channel to negotiate because that adds a cost. And here in the Cube, we also spoke to different farmers associations who explained to us that the situation was aggravated by less tomato production in greenhouses in the UK and in big producer countries like, for example, the Netherlands, due to high energy costs. But what about Brexit in this whole situation? Well, we asked the question to Peko Pesonen, the director of an EU farmers association. Of course, it doesn't help that we have Brexit uh, rules now to follow and uh, it may actually in certain cases have an impact but i would say that the main reason is actually the weather and energy prices increases in Europe, The Independent has reported that Ireland is also starting to face similar shortages. And according to growers and experts that we spoke to, the situation might take a couple more weeks before you start seeing tomatoes back again on your supermarket shelves.